Let's look at another example. Let's look at the reaction of permanganate plus hydrogen peroxide and H plus to give you O2, manganese ion, and water. Now you'll notice this is a net ionic reaction, which are very common for redox reactions. Often the net ionic is shown instead of the complete equation with the spectator ions worked in. So starting with um, manganese, or permanganate, excuse me, we have a rule for oxygen which says it's negative 2. We can find manganese oxidation number using the sum rule. Manganese plus those four oxygens, which again the, the rule says is negative 2, has to add up to give you the overall charge of negative 1. So manganese must be plus 7. All right, looking at hydrogen peroxide, we have a rule for oxygen that says it's negative 2. We have a rule for hydrogen that says it's plus 1. However, in this case, if you look at the sum rule, those two hydrogens and those two oxygens aren't going to add up to give you the overall charge of zero. Again, it's zero because it's a neutral compound. So this is an example of having to remember the priority sequence. So you have to remember it's FHO and the halogens as far as priority goes. Hydrogen has a higher priority than oxygen, the way the rules are given. So that means hydrogen is going to keep the plus one oxidation number, but oxygen can't be negative two. We're going to have to use the sum rule to figure out the oxidation number of oxygen, which in this case turns out to be negative one. And don't let that throw you. Again, we're not dealing with real charges here. This is a fake charge. And the fake charge can be pretty much anything. So again, oxygen couldn't be negative 2 because that wouldn't obey the sum rule. So that's when you have to think about priority. So hydrogen's going, in, for H+, plus, it's a monatomic ion. So whatever the real charge is, that's going to be its oxidation number. For O2, that's the elemental form of oxygen, so it's going to have a zero oxidation number. Right, manganese 2 plus is a monatomic ion, so again, whatever the real charge is, that'll be its oxidation number. For water, we can start with the oxidation numbers that were given in the rules. Oxygen's negative 2, hydrogen's plus 1. This time, though, there isn't any conflict between the two rules because they do add up to give you the overall charge. So you don't have to worry about priority in this case because the sum rule works out. So looking to see who's being oxidized and reduced. First off, notice that hydrogen um, stays plus one in every case. And for both the reactants with hydrogen, they're plus one, and water as the product, it's also plus one. So hydrogen is not undergoing either. So if this is a redox reaction, it better be the, um, the other two elements where you see a loss or a gain. So if you look at manganese, manganese is going from a plus seven oxidation number to a plus two oxidation number. So again, we treat these oxidation numbers just like real charges. So if manganese was going from a plus seven to a plus two charge, that would require a gain of electrons. So manganese is undergoing reduction, so it's been reduced. 
Right? The other element is oxygen, and if you notice, oxygen and peroxide is has a negative one oxidation number. Or you could start with a negative two. Either one would work, no matter which oxidation number you look at. If either of these oxygens is being converted to O2, you're going from a negative 1 or negative 2 oxidation number to a 0 oxidation number. And to go from an anion to no charge, you have to remove electrons, which is an oxidation.